Skin cancer can be a pretty shocking diagnosis to receive from your doctor. Obviously, the C word causes a lot of anxiety amongst many different people. Sometimes justifiably, skin cancers can be deadly. The majority are not, by the way. But even the ones that are not deadly can require surgery or prolonged treatment, and that could lead to a lot of suffering. So obviously, skin cancer is a big deal. Now, interestingly, a lot of skin cancers are detected later than they should be. Now, what I mean by later than they should be, that means that the skin cancer was overlooked or dismissed as something that it was not, and eventually, when the patient shows up at the doctor's office, the skin cancer has grown enough so it will require more aggressive treatment and possibly even lead to life-changing circumstances or even death. So skin cancer detection, early detection, is extremely important. In this video, we'll review a few of the ways in which skin cancer can be detected early so you can get to your doctor quicker and get your situation clarified to make sure that you don't have skin cancer, or if you do, you'll detect it early enough and deal with it in a timely fashion. So skin cancer is not just one entity, it is actually several entities. The biggest players in skin cancer are basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common type of skin cancer. It usually appears over sun-exposed areas, but there are times when, when basal cell carcinoma can appear over areas that are not sun-exposed, even over the genitals. But the most common appearances are over the face, the head and the neck, the arms, the hands, and so on. The second most common player is squamous cell carcinoma of the skin, or SCC. Squamous cell carcinoma can appear usually over sun-exposed areas. There are cases where squamous cell carcinoma will appear over areas that are not sun-exposed, specifically the privates or other parts that are covered away from the sun. And then the third most common player is malignant melanoma. Malignant melanoma can appear over any part of the body, and again, sometimes it appears over sun-exposed areas, sometimes not at all. Specifically, it's noteworthy to mention Bob Marley, the musician, who passed away in the early 1980s from metastatic malignant melanoma. Bob Marley's melanoma started off as a growth on his toe. He initially ignored it, attributing it to a soccer injury, and then eventually when the lesion persisted, he obtained a biopsy through a doctor and found out he had melanoma. So, skin cancers are a very versatile group of conditions, and they need to be detected early for the most impactful treatment and possibly life-saving measures. So what are some ways in which skin cancers can appear and can be detected early? Well, some skin cancers can appear as pimples that don't go away. By that I mean pimples as in raised skin colored or pink colored or reddish colored bumps on the skin that appear, especially over the sun exposed areas, but can appear elsewhere. When one experiences a pimple that doesn't go away for a few weeks and persists, I'd say that's something to be examined by a dermatologist. For example, let's look at a basal cell carcinoma on this patient's nose. It appears quite pimply, like a little pink bump on the nose, and some people may just attribute it to just a zit or a pimple that won't go away and dismiss it as nothing. But it's important to know that most pimples go away within a few short weeks. If a pimple decides to stick around, that means that something may be up with it and it's worth a second look by a dermatologist. Some skin cancers appear as non-healing ulcers or sores. Now, a lot of people kind of consider sores as a separate entity from skin cancers, but the nature of some skin cancers is to be fragile. They're abnormal tissue. They're more fragile. They're more sensitive to irritation and abrasion and can actually break open and form a sore. So in this example, for instance, the patient showed up with this abrasion or a sore that was not going away for many, many long weeks after the area was hit, according to the patient, in the garden while doing some garden work. So the stories may actually match. The story may be absolutely true. The patient actually hit his hand against something, a shrub or something in the garden. That being said, that area specifically was more sensitive to that abrasion. The sore formed and would not heal because the area was cancerous and skin cancer does not heal in the same way normal tissue heals. So a prolonged ulceration of an area on the skin does require additional inspection by a doctor to make sure you're not dealing with a skin cancer. Another way of detecting skin cancers is looking for the ugly duckling. Now, what does that mean? A mole or a blemish, colored blemish, brown, black, any other color that stands out from the rest of the pack. If you have a lot of moles on your skin, 
likely they will all look very similar to each other. They'll look like polka dots. In some of the cases where people have a typical knee virus, a typical moles, a lot of them do stand out from the normal population. That being said, there is usually one mole that stands out from the rest. That mole is called the ugly duckling. It's more unusual looking. It's more irregular, more asymmetrical. The color distribution may be off and the boundaries or the borders of the lesion may be more fuzzy. All these signs are signs to look further and take a look at it a little bit more intensely and try to make the diagnosis and make sure that it's not a skin cancer. Now what I've just outlined in a nutshell are the ABCDs of melanoma. These are criteria that are meant to draw one's attention to lesions that stand out from the rest of the pack and bring them to the dermatologist's attention. A stands for asymmetry, so if the lesion is asymmetrical, meaning you cut it through the middle, one side does not mirror the other, that's asymmetry. Then the borders need to be nice and sharp in normal lesions. If they're not nice and sharp, meaning they're fuzzy around the borders, or there's some irregularity around the borders, that's another feature of something that is happening, some activity that's unusual over that lesion. Color, C is for color. If the color distribution is not even or symmetrical throughout the lesion, that's another sign for you to pay more attention to the lesion. And then diameter. Diameter implies that the lesion or most normal lesions are somewhere between a few millimeters to six millimeters in size, about the size of a pencil eraser. If they grow larger than that or are larger than that, that's another reason to bring the lesion to your dermatologist's attention. Now there's another component to that ABCDE, and that's E, for expansion or evolution. And if the skin lesion appears to be growing or changing dynamically over weeks or months, that's another sign for you to pay close attention to and bring the lesion over to your dermatologist for additional inspection. Well, that sums it up for a few features for you to pay close attention to to bring skin cancer early to your doctor to detect. If you got some benefit from this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Share the video with those you love. You may actually save someone a great deal of trouble and may even save their lives. More great content coming your way right from this channel. Thanks for watching and God bless.